she was set into an experience. She was given this experience uh, to face these things, okay? And so she reacted to it, which is fine, okay? So it, within the experience, she tested it. Uh, it came out as it did. So even when we wake up, even if we had the fear when we ran when we wake up, we can still confront it. You don't have to be in the other worlds because your awareness is through all the bodies, okay? So everything is here and now. But the scene was given to her, it's part of her wake up to see what's going on and what she's attached to or whatever, you see? And so she decides that now as she wakes up and comes back here with her literal mind, she can take a look at it and decide right now. You see? So it's just like you went and saw a movie. And in that movie, you learn something. So the moment the movie's over, you can decide whatever you want with your life at that moment. You see? Because the movie's over with. And so the experience is over with. Because we is all here now in our awareness. So when we're on the so-called or in the so-called real side or the inner or whatever, no, there's no such thing. It is all here now. We're experiencing this all here now. So we're not traveling anywhere. We're not going anywhere. These terms were used for the literal mind, but we're in the position of the isness. So we can always decide better right now, you see? So again, it was set up to show her attachments, her fears, etc., and she'll go through more until she finally gets to it and faces it all and it's all okay. <laughs>